Hey cow pokes, welcome to the first of our 13 part web series dedicated to teaching you the bare bone basics of poker. Hey internet, it's your old friend Dominic here with AmericanCasinoGuide.com. Before getting to today's video about what you'll need to host that perfect poker night, do me a favor and pat on that big old red subscribe button and ring a ding ding that little old bell there while you're at it. So Basic Poker School is a 13 part web series and in our first episode, we have to get as basic as you can be. You're basic. And it doesn't get more basic than what you'll need to play. This might sound a little silly, but the first thing you're gonna need to play is a standard deck of playing cards like the one I have here. Without this, you're pretty much standing around waiting for the sweet release of death. Now you can buy these basically anywhere, and if you look online, you're gonna find they come in a real wide variety of designs and layouts. So find that one that suits you best, or you can just keep it simple and buy a standard bicycle deck in red or blue. Now, if you're completely new to poker, let me break the deck down for you. Now there's 52 cards in this that you'll actually need, and if you're buying it new, there probably is gonna be two jokers. One should be black, one should be red. And then you might also have a couple of cards explaining hand ranks and the rules of poker. You don't need those at all, so you can just pretty much put the jokers and the uh, rule cards just to the side. You don't have a deck of cards and you still want to play? I got you covered. Just visit our website, AmericanCasinoGuide.com, where we've listed a number of casinos that offer poker and some great bonuses that you can benefit from. Now, other than a deck of cards, there are some other bits that you're gonna need, some more important than others. One, of course, includes somewhere to play. While comfort and style are always something I concern myself with, any flat surface will work for your poker night. Be it a kitchen or dining room table, a coffee table in your living room, even the floor if you're hard up. But if you really wanna look like you know what you're doing, you can get a card table like the one I have here with a nice felt surface. The next thing you're gonna need is some chips. No, not this, though you should get a couple bags of these too. You're gonna need to get yourself a set of these. A set of basic poker chips, at least three separate colors. You can likely buy them at the same place you purchased the deck of cards from. Now chips come in a wide variety of designs and cost wise, they can vary from being very cheap to very expensive. Shut up and take my money. My advice, keep your investment low for the time being and only invest in a better set if you really enjoy poker and poker nights become a regular thing. The last thing you're gonna need is people, because without people, you're just a dude standing around with a deck in your hands. You can't play live poker without them. The ideal number of players depends on the variant of poker you're playing and the actual table size, but the ideal number, in my opinion, is five to six people. Now, the obvious people to ask over to your poker night are the friends and neighbors that you really get on well with, but don't overlook friends of friends or even extended family members and even the occasional odd coworker. But don't worry if they're busy, we have lots of places where you can play online whenever you want. Want. Just check out our website, the link is down below. But that concludes our introduction to what you need to play poker. What's your favorite snack for poker night? Let us know in the comments section down below. Make sure to clickety clack that like button, pound that big red subscribe button, ring a ding ding that notification bell. My name's Dominic, wishing you luck and reminding you as always, play responsibly.